to Raul, who's a pre proven esports winner in juniors. Um, he is a proven Supreme, esports winner, you're right. Yeah, Supreme stuff. Then rolling against Mikasalo, my uh, OG F1 game hero. Fanboy um, moment, fanboy moment for Seb Scott, as in many of you out there, I'm sure, as well. He's not a fan of Mikasalo, let's be honest. But unfortunately, he doesn't go through. It is our Estonian driver who heads through to the semi final. Laura Yuna then against Essa Pekka Lappi. This one was tasty for me. I was expecting EP to sail through on this one. But we didn't get that. He admitted at the start that actually he wasn't experienced on the stage and it, it shown Larry Yuna put the practice in and got through. Yeah, more practice needed for EP behind the wheel. Velasia and Pyre were our last pairings in the quarterfinal and it was neck and neck for the majority of the stage, but a few mistakes crept in, unfortunately, for Pyre, but majorly for Balassia. So it's Sammy that goes through to our semi-final. And we move on to our semi-final stage. It is a classic in Rally Finland. Favourite of Gus Greensmith, just a bit of fact for you there, it's Pyre. And it is going to be Yuna against Pyre and Trogan against Paul. So let's get our shootout started with our first semi-final. What will Sammy Matty and what will Roland do here? Let's go and find out. Here we go, Sammy Matty Trogan. I'm not going to lie, Bex, I think it's advantage Trogan after the pace we saw from him yesterday. I think he's got to be favourite, hasn't he? He really did show an incredible amount of confidence yesterday. And... It's not looking too bad in terms of the distance between them. They are pretty much neck and neck right now. Roland's definitely not going to want to give up this one up easily. No, absolutely not, but it's a long stage, Bex. You've got to be committed, but you've got to be consistent. And Sammy Matty is used to the pressure in esports, it has to be said. I I'm, I'm hoping Roland can do something for the honour of Junior WRC, but uh, Sammy Matty, I'm, my money's on him, Bex, already. I'm telling you that now. Yeah, well, he is ahead. Uh, it's not a huge amount at the moment, but he is slightly ahead of Roland. And it's just the commitment. The commitment into corners, the lines he's taking, they're so much more, they're riskier, but they are giving him the ultimate pace. Exactly. He seems to know the stage inside out already. Uh, and w when you get to that level of knowing a stage, you're so much more confident going into the blind corners and, and over the jumps, setting the car right as... Okay, that was a straight line jump, but you'll notice some of the jumps on corners. The really good guys can position the car perfectly to just slide straight in. You know, it's been interesting to get some of the feedback from our rally drivers who have done these stages multiple times in comparison to, you know, our more professional eSport gamers, which, you know, Sammy Matty falls into both camps, really, doesn't he? And how they're saying that, you know, you can take so much more risks, obviously, in an eSport scenario. You know how the car is feeling when you're actually on the stage. And if you were to go at that pace through that corner, it's not going to end well. It's a little bit more forgiving in a virtual world. Yeah, and I think there is a psychological block there for the real-world drivers. Um, okay, Sammy Matt is an exception because he specialises in both, but, you know, like, Roland will will be reacting like it's real life. Sammy Matty knows he can make some... He can go a bit different in the virtual world. As we're seeing, just the speed he can carry, it's, it's really impressive. It is really impressive. You know, just watching the stage itself, it is a classic. So many drivers like the Paella stage. Um... It, it, it just, it's tempting you to put your foot down to the floor and just push on. It's got some beautiful sectors in it. And they are what? so well represented here in the game. Absolutely. You know what, Bex? Uh, we're not sat next to each other. We're all can see each other right now. But I can just imagine this beaming smile across your faces <laughs> as we watch the fast-flowing roads of uh, Rally Finland here. Yeah, it's, there's no secret that this event is my absolute favourite on the championship calendar. It has been pretty much since I started my WRC career. There's something very, very special about Finland. I mentioned it in the quarterfinals. It's a magical place. Magical things happen on this event. <laughs> Sammy Matty certainly is proving to be the magic man as well when it comes to WRC esports. There is no question in that. A match made in heaven, do you think, on this rally? <laughs> it seems so. I mean, if, you know, if you're going to bet on anyone right now, it's going to be Sammy Matty because he is putting on an incredible performance. He streaks ahead of everyone so far that he's been up against in these yeah. shootouts. It's, he's on massively impressive form. 
I, I do need to say though, in defence to Roland Horn, Roland was uh, called into this a bit more last minute than uh, um, the other guys had noticed for. So I'm, I'm going to stick up for Roland there, but you know he's still doing well. I'm still I'm still proud of one of my former junior WRC drivers. <laughs> No, Sammy Matty keeping up the pace, keeping up the consistent performance right the way through the stage so far. There's, I don't think we've actually seen it. Well, there's one small mistake towards the start, but other than that, he hasn't put a wheel wrong. No, you're right, Bex, and, and Sammy Matty is in that, that, that strange zone that sometimes happens where sometimes drivers look like they're driving slow because they're just so fast, if that makes sense. I, I, I mean, look at the difference in terms of you know, let's get a benchmark now from from Sammy. There's that house that he's passing now. You just count in terms of time. The difference is quite substantial, second-wise. I'm still counting. Exactly. <laughs> keep counting. Keep counting. Keep uh, now. It's about 15 to 17 seconds, I reckon, yeah, Bex. It's a big that, gap. That's, that's quite a gap, isn't it? Yeah, I that, mean, that's... it's it's an insane amount of commitment from Sammy Matty. I think he's got to be the overall favourite here, unless anyone can just blow him out of the park. Yeah, you, you know, I, I'll be completely honest. When I saw Sammy Matty's name on the list, I wasn't fully Ooh. aware. Oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're singing too many praises for him, but I, I wasn't fully aware of his career. And I did some research. Bet last year at the World RX finale in South oh, Africa. Oh, the racing, yeah. In RX2. Um, Sammy Matty was competing in iRacing and World RX2 at the same time on the weekend. That's how committed he, this guy is, how, how much he can dedicate himself. He can do two full-on sports at the same time. The legwork needs to go in. We've talked about the amount of practice some of these guys have. You know, it can be up to 10 hours a day that they are behind the wheel practicing. Same stages over and over again, perfecting the art. He obviously has been putting in the time, so. Yeah, and, and as ever with some of, well, with sport in general, the more you put in, the easier it looks. And I can tell you, this is by no means easy. This is an absolute grind to get this perfect as Sammy Matty is right now. Incredible stuff. No, it really is. Roland's got, obviously, you know, we counted, you counted out about 15 to 17 seconds behind. We have kind of updated that. Sammy's passed that barn now. Let's see when Roland passes the barn on the right-hand side. I'm still counting. Looking like a sim similar kind of gap. I think it's lengthened. I think it's, I think it's a lot longer bet. Yeah, there's the barn oh. up ahead. Yeah, we're, we're in the 20s now. 20s now, yeah. Yeah. And this is not so. taking anything away from Roland at all. It's just Sammy Matty is a little bit special here right now. Yeah, definitely. Celebrate I mean, that. Yeah, no, absolutely. He's he's on the Williams uh, oh, Formula One team, esports team. Roland. Yes, he but, is. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of research into him as well because I'd seen the name before, but I didn't know a huge amount about him. But... Yeah, that's pretty impressive. You know, it's circuit racing, RX, rallying now, all in the esports world. I tell you what, Finland know how to produce them, don't they? There, there must be something in the blood or the water, one or the other. Well, yeah, they have churned out an incredible number of stars over the years, and it just keeps coming. There were a few years, you know, back in kind of the late 2000s, when we thought after Mikko Hirvonen and Yari Matti Latvala, who is going to come next? Who is going to come next? And there were a few maybe not completely dry years, but we weren't sure who the future stars were going to be. And then all of a sudden it was like... Bop, 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 bop. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sammy Matty's finished. It's, it's painful to see this with Roland, but still full oh, credit Roland, to the guy for going. Roland, you kid. Keep going. Keep going. Just don't even think about Sammy Matty is finished. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. We're all here for you. I'm Seth's still proud got the of the guy. On hand. Yeah. Get your tub of ice cream. Everything will be fine. I'm gonna give him a big virtual hug at the end of this stage, Bex. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, it is done then. A 7:44 to an 8:11.
Well done to Sammy Matty. That was a pretty impressive performance there. No one's going to forget your name anytime soon. So, again, we see then the advertisement for the big showdown in Evascular on the 8th of August. Keep a check on all your social media channels, WRC and eSportWise, for more details on those. So, next date is called Payela, and it's very legendary states, and it's my favourite states in the... In real life so i really looking forward to try these dates see i'm not surprised that uh, yuna said that because so many drivers have this down as one of their favorite stages in rally finland and everyone will obviously go for the classic own employer we don't see it run as, as its full length anymore but this stage really does have it all yeah it's it's flat out but it tests them still to every inch of their ability it's incredible. It and, has, and it, but it has got it all. It is, it's flat out. It's got some beautiful corners, sweeping corners, which are just classic in Finland. It's got the jumps. It's got beautiful lefts and rights. It's, yeah, you can almost feel yourself gliding through the stage as you're watching it now. There are no harsh, sharp bends, hairpins or junctions. It's just flowing all the way through. Uh, and, and I suppose it's one of those really fast and flowing if you if you hesitate, if you lift just for a millisecond, you've given your opponent an advantage. You've got to be committed on these stages. It, it, it's fight or flight. It is, and it, do you know what? Milliseconds is what's between these two right now. This is looking pretty head-to-head -head glorious. Do you know what, Bex? If you put them over each other, they'd almost look like they are running neck and neck. <laughs> it's really yeah, if we put it into ghost mode right now, they would be neck and neck, I reckon. Oh, ghost mode, there, there's a gaming term. We know Bex has actually played the game now. I like it. <laughs> I reckon I could beat you any day of the week, Seb Scott. Oh, we'll set up that challenge. This is looking very, very good from both of them. Yeah, can, can we have three Ooh. people in the final? Is that allowed? Can we have two winners of one semi final, Bex? Uh, I'm sure we can. We can work it, mate. <laughs> yeah. Speak to the powers that be. There we go. Right, well, right. We'll, uh, who are you going to call then? Who, and everyone out there, oh. everyone who's watching, hello to you, by the way. It's so great to see you all with us watching esports right now. Pretending we're all in Rally Finland. We're not quite there, but we're trying to evoke the atmosphere. And with I, these I stages, no idea, it's pretty Bex. difficult not to, isn't it? Yeah, I could not call it, honestly. Um, your guess is as good as mine, maybe even better. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be a guess at this point. It's whoever, crucially now, keeps it clean whoever makes the mistake is going to lose they are absolutely neck and neck do you know what bex it might not even be whoever keeps it clean it might just be whoever released the handbrake first at the start it could come down to that the reaction time at the start it's so close an amazing run then for our second semi-final with Larry Yuna and Sammy Pyre. Oh, small mistake from Sammy Pyre there, Bex. Oh, ever so slightly small. I think it's advantage Yuna right now. Only just, though. Oh, only just. I mean, literally only just. Oh, this is edge of the seat stuff. No idea who's going to call it. I'm loving it all the same. I wish this stage was longer because this is thrilling. Flying fins showing us exactly how it should be done here. Yeah. Lowry and Sammy, both rivals, competitors in the Junior WRC Championship and uh, and, and in the Finnish Junior Championship for Lowry. Um, you know, Sammy won the Finnish Junior Championship last year in the Flying Fin Future Star Award. Lowry's going for it this year. So, you know, they're both sort of equally matched to some degree. Yeah, they are indeed. And you can certainly see that here. As we mentioned in the quarterfinals, Larry had a really good start to his season in Finland. Oh, Sammy. Oh, that was a big mistake from Sammy there. there yeah, there's a that lot really of time has gone. cost him now. Oh, dear. So we were saying earlier it's, we need, it's going to rely on one mistake. We've had the one mistake, Bex. We Can have. you see it changing now? Oh, I don't know, because Sammy was the king of comeback in the quarterfinal, wasn't he? Oh, God, yeah. Don't take me back to the quarterfinal, Bex. Bex, I'm still trying to get my breath back on this one. <laughs> can he Can he do it again? I mean, it, it's still pretty close between them. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I Yuna think still has to keep it very clean. Pyre has to put his foot down to the absolute maximum now. He cannot make any more mistakes. 
Just it is a edge. Sorry, go on, Bex. I'm yeah, interrupting you. Yeah, it is advantage you. Una right now. Yeah. <laughs> the detail in this game. Did you see the dustbin at the house then that they went past? <laughs> I'm being really nerdy right now. Oh, but the detail is great, and that's what makes you feel when you're watching it like this, that you are actually there. You are on board. This is a real rally stage. The attention to detail, all the work the developers do, the research they do to put this game together is immense. I've been lucky enough to be there to see how they do it. It, it does genuinely blow me away. Well, the detail they've gone to, they've even included uh, some, some reporter from all I ever believe in the career mode. <laughs> yes, I could well be the voice of career mode telling you what to do to make yourself successful. <laughs> Sounding like a teacher every day. <laughs> Oh, what, what an honour though to be part of a video game. That is, I, that is. Yeah, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased that I'm part of it. I have to be honest, it's been great working with the guys. Right, where are we at, Seb? Let's. Oh, oh where we're at? I think it's going to be handed back to Sammy Pyre. <laughs> oh, that is a dreadful mistake from uh, from Lowry there. Oh, has Lowry just thrown his opportunity to the final away? Is this it? We're in the closing minutes of the stage now, and I we cannot are call in, it time next. Is ticking no away. idea. They've both made mistakes. And oh, we're almost, almost back to level pegging here. Yeah, this is almost as tense as a real esports grand final. Nail I have no idea stuff. who it's going to be now. As you said, it is closing minutes. We are ticking down to the flying finish approaching. I mean, I'm in awe of the way these guys can throw the car around a corner. I'm, I'm trying to pick up some tips, but I just don't think I'm good enough. <laughs> I'll put it as bluntly as that. <laughs> the concentration on Yuna's face, I am loving that. Is it, is it just me, or, or does he look sort of slightly serene? He's just leisurely driving through. He looks, to me, incredibly focused. I don't think I've seen him blink. But I'm loving the kind of facial expressions, and I want to see if that is similar to when he's actually in a car. There's a little wobble there. Oh, this is no, the, a the, fantastic... Well, it's not even a finale, really. It's a semi-finale for us. <laughs> Which I mean, one it's of as these good as a finale is... for me. It's incredible stuff, Bex. Which one of these guys is going to take us through to the final? No, I mean, if we've got some Finnish fans watching right now, these are both future stars of rallying. Who's your money on? Both if, very popular characters in Finland and, and really nice guys, actually, just in general. And both super quick. It is advantage Sammy. So what we can Larry do? We haven't got much longer to go on the stage. I think Larry is throwing everything, including the kitchen sink, Bex. I got that yeah, one in there. Yeah, well, he definitely has to. Like we said, both of them made mistakes. Oh! oh. I think Larry, it's desperation for Larry now. He's just got to throw everything into it. Yeah, it's Sammy. And, it, you know, what a fantastic run. Yeah, that stage was a uh, very nice, like in real life and a uh, little mistake, but uh, otherwise okay. It's the thumbs up, but it is Sammy Pyrie that goes through with a 7.53. I mean, it was tens of seconds between them come the end of it. What a brilliant run to conclude our semi-final. That was fantastic stuff, so. Absolutely incredible. 0 0.704 bets. That was the gap. <laughs> Blink and you miss it. Oh, that, that really is a blink and you miss it moment. So we are now then set up for our final. Make sure that you join us for the final of what has been a fantastic shootout so far. It's Nesto Rally Finland e-challenge shootout with Sammy Matty Trogan against Sammy Pyrie.